go this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and this is your romance reading for May 2021 now we're and today I it is the 21st of April and we've just gone into Taurus so the energy will be gentler and not so fiery since it is an earth element there is a video out there uh, explaining the uh, Taurus energy use it to your advantage and if you're hooked up with a tourist then you know what you can expect and let me know whether it resonates with you um, we are also going into the second house so it's like the terrible twos and the terrible threes there will be a lot of um, uh, ideas and decisions to make making our manifestations affirmations visualizations coming into the real world what we've been planning and getting ready for in April now we're going to put it uh, hopefully it's going to come uh, in uh, in Taurus okay let's have a look what uh, your cards will say and I will be using the deck dream keepers and this is an amazing deck because it's a deck that I really wanted for a long time and I've been waiting since January for it so if you would like to see all the cards have a look at the review and thank you very much for all your likes and shares and also subs and if you haven't subbed yet then please subscribe it does help uh, us to or the channel to be found in Google and on YouTube and we all love to grow and have a bigger family well this is the cyber family and I'll um, I will be uh, putting out a lot more new videos um, reviews and I'm also going to do the fairy houses and uh, that's a beautiful book I've just had that one as well there is a review on there um, on the um, channel as well so have a look and enjoy now we're going to your reading and if there is anybody hard of hearing or uh, has a bad vision then please tell them either to use the the hard of hearing to use the subtitles and the people that can't see very well I'll be describing the cards very explicitly and also where they are in the spread and what they mean so that people can enjoy as much as you let's go to the reading Oh, sorry got the wrong one here we are and I've shaken the cards before I started but I also do it on the screen so that you are sure uh, that they are shake uh, shaked or shoveled shaked <laughs> uh, we say that's uh, literally translated from Dutch okay well this has come out and where uh, you come out uh, with the Queen of Swords so some of you might be dealing with legalities uh, or gaining new wisdom about your partner or potential partner uh, also communicating more because the swords stand for wisdom communication and uh, uh, municipalities and institutions this could be a doctor if you for example you, if you find out that you're pregnant you might be going to the gynecologist or you might be seeking uh, a new home or buying a new home leasing a new home that would mean a new lease let's see what the cards say the second card on the uh, top row is the eight of cups you do want new beginnings and adventure and uh, you want excitement perhaps within the relationship partnership or um, in life in general that's too much too close together come on jump out and they are jumping out you've also got the king of wands and this one has flipped out that is on the first row I'm doing the three by three three up and three down and in the second row you've got the high priestess and there's a card sticking out then we have the center card which is the ace of wands so there is definitely passion in your reading okay I'm coming to the people after I've got all the cards out Wow <laughs> you've also got the four of ones 
and that means marriage celebration so what are you celebrating about okay and you have the world magic magic the world is your oyster now they are jumping for you Leo well uh, you've got the ace of swords victory in something Ooh, have you been if you've not been hooked up and you're chasing somebody or trying to find somebody this is flipped and this is the four of cups okay and underneath the deck what do you have underneath the deck uh, no I'm going to do this you have the ten of wands Ooh, endings beginnings you had a rough time perhaps perhaps you have had a difficulty I'm going to take away that and put it down there so awesome otherwise it creates a, a, a shadow on the other cards you come in with the ten of ones so end of difficulties and, and new beginnings you've had a heavy load to bear perhaps a lot of responsibilities in the last couple of months um, ten months I would say um, but let's see what the reading is uh, saying for you okay you are taking also a rest before you you um, it's like it looks like you've taken a rest as well because with the nine of ones you take a rest you comp contemplate and plan for the next move I think you have lightened your load because look at all these new leaves that are sprouting on the ones and the skeleton um, her shadow side let me put it that way uh, or the old because when you have a skeleton it's old uh, has already gone away she is a new person and she's looking into her past and planning for her future you've lightened your load you have learned to delegate and ask for help wow absolutely the just thing to do and great now the next card is the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords is the second house in the suit of people. Um, that is the King is Gemini, the, the Queen is Libra, but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius. There could be a prominent person around you, Leo. Um, uh, that is this person and also you could be hooked up with one of these people it could also be an advisor because the Queen of Swords is a lady of character and is also right to the point she can be very sharp in her words and but also very direct there's no mucking around with this lady she has her emotions under control but she's also a nurturer to those that she loves and protects because the sword is for protection the truth justice clarity transparency awesome okay so you might be meeting this person if you're not hooked up and if you're hooked up and you're looking for somebody uh, new then uh, to talk to to have like a best friend to talk about your relationship or things like this um, it could be an advisor because we do have the high priestess and she's the partner of the high priest okay so I've, I've got a feeling there is an advisor around you this could also be a mother figure or an older sister this could be your best friend that you talk to to find clarity to seek another point of view uh, with regards to your situation um, the Queen also um, uh, can represent that you might take a page out of her book and you might seek clarity and the truth okay we've also got the eight of cups you might not be happy at the moment for some reason or rather because you've had a heavy time perhaps you are going through a divorce now because of the queen of swords cutting away and also um, I see you uh, with the four of cups thinking in your head and it's lying in the same um, line uh, 
in a cross section. When I do an extended reading, I read across vertically, horizontally, and across and the diamond. You get so much information from this reading. It's one of my favorite readings. And I don't usually use it for a monthly or a weekly. But here you've got the key uh, the keyhole. So uh, yes, looking, trying to seek uh, new information, uh, getting to the truth, to the bottom of things, that is what I'm feeling very strongly. And that's why you might be uh, bored or depressed uh, because you're going through a separation of some kind or trying to cut away what is of no use to you because you want excitement so I think you're trying to cut away uh, thing if you're hooked up you're trying to cut away the BS out of the relationship to bring in the freshness of uh, passion and love and excitement that you hunger for after all we were in Ari Aries and that was a passionate time so it should have been you might still have the tail end of the passion that you have changed that uh, energy already in Aries and you are going for what you want because you've got the king of wands so you're in the third row it is the third card and this is lying above you this is yet to come in you can also see see the top line at some readers take it as the future that is going to come in but you are going for what you want but you're not going to throw away an old pair of shoes uh, before you've got a new pair there could be an Aries around you since the king of wands is Aries but don't forget uh, Leo or Sagittarius so there could be an other Leo in the wings okay look at those two girls they are looking into the horizon this could also be you looking into the horizon um, and your shadow side you've got one in red and one in white this could be your other half your higher self and I like I said at the beginning now it's the time to um, put your ideas and affirmations confirmations affirma uh, visualizations into the material world and I think you're going to do that you are definitely a fire sign you go for what you want and you're very strategic and logical about it you're cutting away you want clarity what is of no use you what you are the king of your kingdom and you want to preside there and want to bring the 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 richness for your queen whether you're man or woman you are going to get the luxury, the perfection, whatever you want, the love, the canoodling, uh, excitement, going out to dinner again, uh, holidays, yes the holidays are here because you've got the world card right at the bottom, the first card, but let's move on to the uh, second row, that's the middle row, that's also in some, with some readers the present the present is the second row uh, horizontally and Virgo, ver, vertically you've got the high priestess and she's got the Torah in her hands she's also a, a person that uh, plays or holds the cards close to her chest she has ideas she's mysterious mystical but she does know all the answers perhaps you might be organizing a surprise party or a surprise holiday as it is right above the world card the high priestess also represents the triple moon goddess and the triple moon goddess is cancer or uh, pisces uh, there could be a very spiritual time, a spiritual time literally in your faith, uh, religiously or spiritually you're going inward and do more meditation, contemplation and evaluation. You might be uh, listening more to your intuition and to your subconscious and trying to bring the subconscious into the conscious. 
beautiful. I like it, I like it. You you are wanting to make plans come true. Now, it is like the cook or the alchemist. You've got all the bottles of herbs behind her and you're looking through a keyhole. Um, yeah, that's the ace of once a new beginning. You're seeing your future. It's also lying underneath the eight of cups where the two ladies or your conscious and subconscious are looking out into the horizon. This is giving me a feeling that you're strategically planning to take action to get what you want. And you want to be together, especially for those that aren't hooked up. You want to get married because we've got the four of ones in the middle row, the third card, and that means marriage, celebrations, meetings, gatherings. Um, this could be um, celebrating um, a, a birth, this could be celebrating uh, a wedding, a birthday, anything like that, or even a christening, because we've got the high priestess uh, in the middle of it. So, yeah, I don't know, a christening just came in, so you might be finding out you're going to give birth to a new thing. Also, uh, or a new person, a new project. This could be a baby, this could be a project. You could be birthing something because the ace is victory and a new start. You're taking action and you've been planning this. Perhaps moving in together, buying a house, getting married, because the four of ones also means uh, moving home and you've got the world here to confirm it or buying a new home, building a new home and you are, uh, this is a house with tangibility and for long term. Also this relationship because it's built on proper foundations. If you're not getting married because you are already married, then you might be invited to a wedding or an other celebration. In the bottom row, this is what is happening now, what is rising out. You have the world and the world means coming to fruition, a phase coming to an end and this also is confirmed by the Ten of Wands, the overall energy. An ending, a new beginning, going up to the next level in your partnership. If you are married then you could be renewing your marriage vows. Perhaps you might be going on holiday and getting bl a blessing for your union together on a beach because it's lying next to the swords and she looks like she's walking uh, on clouds or on the beach. This picture really uh, depicts to me walking on clouds or on the beach and enjoying the sunshine. Uh, the sun is coming up and she's got an umbrella um, keeping her protected. Definitely the world card means also moving home like I said or buying a home or going on holiday. Also the karma card. What uh, uh, it has happened to you if anybody's done you wrong or good uh, they will get it back threefold. If you've done good or bad it will come back to you um, um, threefold. Also the next level, this could be promotions if it was a general reading in a job, perhaps you might have had this promotion or uh, you might have started your own business with your uh, romance partner and it's going well and it's going to be a big success because victory is yours because the ace of swords is lying next to it. You might be getting more clients. You might even have it started to do um, a, a global uh, internet web uh, shop on internet because you see all these threads in the cosmos. They look like uh, the threads, the web. So yes, the web, literally internet, but you you might have been gaining um, um, networking to get clients because I just do see people doing this and look at how many hands and arms she's got here she's got eight to be total so yes she's like the spider working the website 
and she is holding out her hands from come in come in wow this is beautiful okay um, you're feeling on top of the world and you are also feeling balanced with this new project or new relationship that you have within you and around you great the world is your oyster get out there and be seen if you're not hooked up start swiping if need be to find a partner if you are going through a divorce because of the queen of swords that is also what I felt if you are cutting away from anybody victory will be yours again the ace of swords is a new beginning a new beginning to wisdom uh, a new beginning um, to communication if you have not spoken to somebody there could be a, a, a a new com communication coming into the world, uh, into your world. You could be seeking advice from this uh, man. Uh, he looks more like a lawyer, not a king, but it could be uh, a, a lawyer that you seeking advice from, or like I said, a, um, a surgeon, uh, a gynecologist. Yes, he will help you. There will could be even um, uh, a new baby here, because um, the world uh, means also birth. This could be of a child expanding, making your world bigger. That is what the world means. Also, I nearly forgot. I'm sorry. So yes, it, if you finding out you're pregnant, then. Uh, that could be April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, it could be uh, a, a Libra, but it will be a very, very late Libra. And the Ace of Swords, of course, represents all the air signs. That is Gemini, Gemini Libra and Aquarius. Okay, now the world usually has Aquarius... Uh, Scorpio, Taurus and uh, Leo so those are the prominent people around you you've got the Aries here or Leo you've got the um, Queen of Swords Libra there so those are prominent people the third card in the third row uh, Leo is the Four of Cups because of all the planning that you've been doing and perhaps after celebrations you want to take a rest you might um, this this the four of cups also means that you could be depressed or too much in your head you're not focused on what is happening around you um, and you should focus on what is happening around you and coming out of your head you've got so many positive uh, things in this reading within the relationship victory um, leaving heavy moments and uh, behind um, you the alchemist of your own life uh, you've got the two aces out of four you've coming into action and you've got the victory what more do you want now cut away indeed cut away what is of no use to you Wow, the Four of Cups is also, to me, a little bit of a spiritual card, uh, withdrawing in, not only because you, you might be depressed or feeling unhappy, but also thinking, thinking things over and isolating yourself, a little bit like the Hermit, the High Priestess and the Hanged Man. I think you definitely know what you want because the Ace of Wands is in the middle of the reading and that is the um, action card as to what you want and what you're passionate about. And this could be to do with um, the fire sign, uh, the King of Wands, uh, Aries, but it could also have to do with a Leo prominently. It could be any three of the fire signs since it is lying in the middle of this diagonal uh, line. Wow. 
and here you're thinking about it you're taking action the key you're putting the key in the keyhole and you've got your clarity coming this way awesome so you are getting clarity you're getting your justice and you're getting what you want definitely you're going for it you're not taking any BS you're cutting away from people with problems usually people that don't want to help themselves but they want somebody else to help them well you can't help anybody if they don't want to uh, be helped you can't solve somebody else's problems now you saw me shaking the cards you've got romantic feelings perhaps you do have romantic feelings for somebody now uh, if you are going through a divorce and uh, your feelings are real and worth exploring but if you are hooked up with somebody a partner then like I said in the beginning you want this new passion you want excitement you want to make quality time for you and your partner you're not taking any more excuses you're going to and you're not going to take the excuse of lockdown or that they don't want to or have to have an inoculation your creativity and your passion is going to bring in the excitement you might make up a picnic basket and you might go back to the lake or to a, a, a special place that you met your partner and you're going to take time out you're going to organize a babysitter uh, to get quality time because you need it and so does your partner by the looks of it Saint Jude you have Saint Jude from the Oracle Messenger cards and Saint Jude is the Saint of Wonders to fire up lost causes Saint Jude will bring his flame giving patience and endurance and the strength to start again Wow 25 becomes 7 that's a number of good luck now I'm going to do a, 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 a card from the a celebrations love oracle and let's see what the uh, cards are going to do harmony so harmony will return you are really definitely going for this harmony this new uh, passion this ignite you want to ignite the passion back into your relationship that is what I feel Wow and um, this one is sticking out three wishes so there you go three wishes you can make three wishes or three wishes will be fulfilled wow this is awesome beautiful i hope you've liked this reading leo let me know if it resonates with you and please like and share and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and please um, uh, stay safe and be blessed and let me know whether this resonates with you if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign so take care love you all ciao ciao